So number 11 then from the 2015 Advanced Higher Maths. Here we go, four marks, a little matrix question. Transformational matrices, those little two by two transformational matrices. Now this question is really just a read, answer, read, answer one, so we'll just have to keep this here. What does it say to begin with? Write down the two by two matrix M1 associated with a reflection in the Y axis. Well, you can either remember them all, or you can just generate them yourself quite quickly with this little business about picking two convenient points. The point one on the x-axis and the point one on the y-axis. Because their coordinates, when you write them down, would be one, zero, and zero, one. The identity matrix. So if you multiply it by something like M1, whatever your answer is, is the matrix. So what happens? What's one doing again? Reflecting the y-axis. Well, this would go over to here. So one zero would go to negative one zero. That would stay where it is. So that's your answer. Negative one zero, zero one. And that's a mark, just for stating it. What's the next one? Write down a second one. M2 associated with an anti-clockwise, and you have to watch the angle ones, you're better just remembering the little formula for that one. But this is different because it's pi up in two, so it's just quarter turns. So this time, what happens with a quarter turn? Well, that would move on to there. So one zero would go to zero one, and zero one would go to negative one. So that's negative one, zero. And that's a mark. Now what does it say? Find the matrix M3, okay. Associated with, now it's a composition of transformations. Associated with, so whichever one comes first, goes next to whatever the vector or set of points it's acting on is. Associated with an anti-clockwise rotation first, followed by a reflection second. So that means it's going to be M1, M2. This one acting first, producing its result, and then this one following on. So it's going to be this result then. It's going to be negative 1, 0, 0, 1, times 0, negative 1, 1, 0. So it'll be another 2 by 2 matrix, and that's going to be 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 0, 0. That's a mark. Oh, Quite a nice wee question this, isn't it? And what's the last part? Uh, what single transformation does that represent? What does M3 actually do? Well, you could just put it back onto your little diagram here and say, well, what's happened to this? One zero has gone to zero one, and zero one has gone to one zero. In other words, they've switched places. So you could see that it reflects in that midline in line y equals x. But maybe you should set it out for this one, so let's just see what it does. So what does 0, 1, 1, 0 do to the general point x, y? Well, that'll be none of them but a y, and one of them but no y's here, so y, x. In other words, it's turned x into y and y into x, but you can't say that. Oh, it's turned x into y and y equals x. It says, what transformation is that equivalent to? Well, I could put a little sketch at the side here. I don't know why I put that there. Maybe because it will get changed over. And that quite simply says, Y changes to X and X changes to Y. So it's a flip over, like one of those things, finding the inverse of a function. In other words, they're reflecting in the line Y equals X. And that's all you have to put down. What does that represent? It represents a reflection in the line Y equals X. That's the last mark.